Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here. Um, today, this is going to be the third video of the platformer series. Um, and just to clear things up, I'm really busy right now, so I will only be uploading on the weekends, pretty much, and maybe if you get lucky on the weekdays, like today. Um, but yeah, so in the last two videos, we created ourselves a window and the game panel class, which handles all of our game loop and drawing and stuff. So in this video we're actually going to be creating um, the game state manager and what this does is it manages all the states so if you're in the pause state it's going to update and draw the pause state and check for key presses in the pause state and if you're in the level one state per se we would be updating all the enemies and, and the player in that state. So to get started Let's just create that class and um, create ourselves a constructor, public game state manager, manager. And we're going to need four different methods. Public void tick. Man. Public void um, draw. And that's going to take in a graphics object. Public void. Um, key pressed, and these are actually going to take in integers. You'll see why in a little bit. And key released int k. So that's that's it for um, the game state manager right now. Let's go back into the game panel and create an object of this. So private game state manager gsm. All right. So then here let's initialize that. Um, GSM equals new game state manager manager. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to call these methods that are in the game state manager in the game panel class. So um, it'll select inside the game state manager, it'll, it'll select which um, which state is going right now and then it'll it'll call the methods inside those states for that um, so yeah now in the key pressed so I said it was an integer we just do e dot get key code so that we don't have to pass we don't have to um, use key events it's just a little bit easier um, e dot get key code Now we aren't going to use the key typed method because that's not really useful to us right now. Oh, and also in the paint component, we're just going to do g dot clear rect um, zero zero width height. So basically, it'll clear the whole screen before drawing the next um, layer. Um, See, so yeah, that's it for the game panel. We pretty much won't have to even change this throughout the rest of the series. I don't think. So let's actually we're actually going to create another class and we're going to call this game state. Now, this game state class is going to be an abstract class. So basically what that means is we cannot create an instance of this class. We can only create instances of classes that inherit um from this game state class. So to get started, we're going to create a protected variable, game state manager, gsm, and we're going to have ourselves a protected um, constructor game state um, and this is going to take in a game state manager gsm and what it's going to do is it's going to say um, this dot gsm equals gsm and then in here we're going to have a bunch of methods public abstract void init now in here we're actually going to call init um, a public abstract void uh, tick. So all of these methods right here um, are going to be required, not necessarily used in every single state, but required in every single state. So we can use them if we need to. Um, now, if we want to later, we can always add in um, mouse listeners as well, and we'll have to change that in every single one. But we won't do that right now. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to need that, actually. Um, so yeah, that's it for the game state manager. 
and the game state class. Now in the game state manager, we're just going to create ourselves a private stack um, of game states. Game state. And we will just call this states. Now in the constructor, basically, we're going to initialize this. Um, so a stack of game states. Okay. Uh, what? Mm. Equals new stack. My bad. New stack. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do states dot peak dot tick. So basically, um, it's gonna look at the top of the stack. So whatever state we at we pushed onto the stack, the latest um, like the last the last one we pushed onto the stack, and it's gonna update that. So if we push on a pause state, it's gonna be updating that, and we can just pop it off and go back to the other state. It's really handy. Um, You'll you'll see how that works later on once we start actually getting into the game itself. Um, key pressed K and one more key released. So I'm actually not gonna go into making another state. This is all we're gonna do for the video, but I'll go over a recap. So basically, we created the game state manager, and that manages all the states in the game and updates whichever one is currently on the top of the stack and um, we implemented that into the game state or the game panel class um, so it's calling inside these methods and then we created a game state um, abstract class which we can create subclasses off of so we'll create classes like a class called menu state and we'll have it extend game state and it'll have all of these methods and this vari these variables and stuff. So that's that's really it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you next time.